into the video. I've just received an order on my Etsy account to make some wax melt drops. So I just thought I would make a quick video just to show people how I actually make them um, using a credit card method for scraping. Um, and what we're going to be making today are these. Everybody seems to be wanting these at the moment. This one's actually Pink Sands, which is a Yankee Candle dupe. And if anybody wants any of these um, that I'm making or want to check out what I've got for sale, please check my Etsy website page. And uh, there's different scents on there and hopefully uh, you can try them for yourself. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an order up of 250 grams, which is about that much. That's 250 grams worth of wax drops. So I'm going to make those today in the scent of Fairy Dust, or as this oil company calls it, Fairy Sprinkle. I get my oils from Stansfields. And they're based local to me. I ordered this yesterday and received it this morning. So the service is absolutely brilliant. So what you're going to need if you're using the same <coughs> method as I'm going to use today is 250 grams of wax, which I've already weighed out. So I'm going to put that into my pan, which is on the stove now boiling. So I'm going to put that on there whilst I'm talking. So at least that will melt. I'm not wasting half of your day watching my video. And you're going to need the 250 gram of wax, 25 gram of fragrance oil, which is, I use 10%. This particular one you could probably get away with 7 or 8%, but I prefer to do 10% in everything that I uh, sell. And I'm going to use a white mica, which I got from Amazon. I'll put all the links in the description what I'm using today. I'm going to use the glitter, which is gold and silver and a little white pearly essence glitter as well, just to give it that added sparkle. So what I do is I measure my fragrance oils out in these two ounce pots only on the basis that um, I've got that many I can just throw them away or wash them and reuse them for whatever testers that sort of thing um, so right we're waiting for the wax to boil now which normally takes a while but what I'm using today is four 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 six hundred wax which is a paraffin wax now normally paraffin wax needs a double pour, but obviously because I'm doing these small wax droplets, if I was to do a double pour it would be nigh on impossible and take me ages. But they don't seem to dip or anything when you're making such, you know, making this kind of shape. It's only like on big products really, snap bars, the backs of it, that sort of thing. Um, but they still sell, even if they ripple, they still sell. It's not about the look, it's all about the scent. So we've got as wax burning, as wax melting. So that should be ready in about five minutes. So what I'll do in the meantime is I will weigh out my fragrance oil to 25 grams. Then I've got that ready. Just see there that. Fairy dust. Mmm, beautiful. Seems to be a popular fragrance with this. There we go, we've got 25 grams there. I'll just put the lid on that because more than likely I will spill it. So what I'm going to do in the meantime, because we're making a uh, a fairy dust, I'm going to make it a little bit pretty, give it a bit of sparkle. So I'm just going to sprinkle these beautiful, these They're like little love arts. 
Love Arts and Stars and these are from Fancy Fragrance so it just gives it that extra sparkle for uh, fairy dust I'm going to use that and I'm also going to use the gold and silver colours as well whilst we're waiting for the wax to melt quite a lot of people like the melts to be uh, plain but I presume on fairy dust we've got to make it a little bit sparkly haven't we and should be best for glitter so I'll put a bit of gold on Looks like I'm putting a lot on, but I'm not really. I'm going to put a bit of silver on. I've double bagged these because, because she's sort of poking in and out them all the time. I tend to split. Silver. These moulds I actually got from Amazon. Um, I think I paid about £13 each for them, and I've got about seven. But if you actually go on to AliExpress, AliExpress sell them as well, and I think they're about four or five pounds on there. And now because of COVID, and sorry, now because of leaving the EU. Um, these shops in China have started adding VAT or additional postage costs to the product prices and I've ordered quite a few stuff from AliExpress recently and they've been here within five to ten days maximum so personally I'd give them a try because AliExpress isn't like it used to be um, years ago they've come a long long way especially now we've left the EU so I'm just going to wash my hands very, very quickly and then the wax should be about ready because it's boiling away in the background, not quite ready yet. So I don't know if you can see but I've put plenty of glitter on there, it's not the best of uh, light in here today because of the sun lovely sunny day for april and normally it rains on my birthday and it's my birthday next week so i'm expecting it to rain then so i'm going to enjoy the rain uh, enjoy the sun whilst i can so that's not far off now so i've poured my fragrance oil i've got my mica powder which she's asked for white but this is like a pearl white just gives it a little bit uh, of a bit more sparkle shall we say so what i'll do i think the wax is going to be about two three minutes so what i'll do is i'll come back to you when that's ready and we'll take it from there right my wax is now melted slightly so you can see my wax is now melted nothing much to see really but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my mica in I've boiled it I've melted the wax to 82 so obviously because it's a paraffin wax this one works at hot temperatures so I'm going to put my mica in straight away and you get quite a lot of mica in these bottles actually which is really good value for money and the colours are lovely like I say I got them from Amazon but eBay also sells them 
and this particular colour, I can't tell you the colour because it's in Chinese, but it's like a pearly white. But if you look in the thing, it's like a pinky pearl. It's a lovely colour. But I classed it as white. I just use it as a white. So I mix in the mica powder. The more you mix it, the better. I always do figure of eight. Now this wax that I'm using for 600 works at high temperatures. So literally I can put my fragrance oil in straight away. And from what it says on the website, it's able to take temperatures up to 85, this particular one. 85 degrees. And we're, was at 82, but because I've put the powder in it, will have gone down. Gone down to 80. So I can literally pour the fragrance oil in straight away. Can you see that? why people do that because that is so annoying isn't it all the cups seem to do it the chefs and they tap it all the time it's so annoying anyway right so i've got me 25 gram fragrance oil so i'm going to pour that in and i stir that for two minutes constantly either stirring left right or the figure of eight but I do suggest that you do it for the full two minutes because um, it needs that amount of time to bind to the wax. And obviously paraffin wax doesn't go out of date. So obviously the more you mix the fragrance oil in, it's not going to lift as well. Sometimes when, you've, when your wax is set, your colourings or your oils go to the bottom of the wax. And that's purely because it's not been mixed in properly. So I'm going to mix that for two minutes. Now obviously you don't want to watch me for two minutes. But I can't think of anything else to say to you or do in the meantime whilst I'm talking. So I will come back after two minutes. Right, I'm back now and my... Fragrance oil has been mixed in. So now I'm going to use the method of the credit card. And this is the quickest and easiest way to do it. Rather than doing a pipette on each one. Which would take ages for 250 grams. These are the pipettes that you can buy. You can get them on Amazon. I think I got 100 for about £3-4 delivered free. Um, but today, because I'm making 250, I'm just going to pour straight in. Now, I would suggest that you leave your pan that you've had your wax melting in um, on low heat because there is quite a lot of, of excess wax once you've scraped it off. And you do slightly need to reheat that again and then obviously continue what you was doing. So what I do is I just generally pour where I've put the glitter. batch and I just scrape with my card into the holes and to fill as many holes as possible the pan boiling in the background now I'm doing 250 but one of these molds holds about 200 grams so I am obviously need two molds so I'm just spreading it out wherever possible really as you can see it's setting and there's quite a lot of excess just scoop that up Great. 
try and make it as neat as possible. Scoop. in the pan to melt that excess back down again. So I can pour some more in. The more you scrape it obviously the more it's going to be neater when you take them out of the uh, moulds. So obviously it does get a little bit messy with the scraping method. A lot of you would be wondering whether reheating the wax would lose the fragrance scent. Well, it's not actually on a high heat. All I'm doing is just basically just remelting it slightly. So it won't make any difference to the fragrance oil at all. And that's it. And I'll just pour a little bit more, the bit that I've just melted. Oops, it's gone a bit off the edge there. Just trying to fill the ones that are. That's it. I'm not going to reboil that little bit because it's not worth the hassle. And that's it. They normally take about 10-15 minutes to set to that. So what I'll do is I'll come back in about 10-15 minutes and then you can see what they look like once they've set. And that's 250 grams of wax melt drops or scoopies as people call them but these seem to be really good sellers at the moment and um, I love them I love them right I shall catch you in a bit when I demold these right guys I'm back I'm sorry about the camera angle but for some reason my tripod just broke on me um, and I can't seem to get it at a different angle but we're about to demold these and the easiest way to demold them is to tip it over and just rub it along each row As you can see, it leaves quite a lot of chalky bits. This is the bit where I said it gets messy. I just scrape along the back and they nicely fall out. And here we have your fairy dust. Which I've put quite a lot of glitter on but you can't really see it but I will put a photograph on of it and that's it. As simple as that and just bag it up into the bags or whatever you want to sell it in.
and there you go I'll put a picture at the end but thanks for watching guys if you like this video and you want to see more or things that you want to see me do leave a message in the description at the bottom in the comment section sorry and uh, I'll try and do a video for you in the meantime please like and subscribe it does help me get noticed on YouTube and I look forward to seeing you in the next video thanks for watching good luck